Hey guys, it's Bailey, and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be a quick review of some brand new lip liners that I scored in the most recent, uh, actually no, it was after the recent VIB sale from Sephora. These were launched after that, and they randomly sent me a 10% off coupon, so naturally had to place another order, and by then, these guys had launched, and I was relatively new to Huda. I hadn't tried her lashes because I'm not an everyday lash wearer, and so I couldn't justify the price, even though I've heard phenomenal things about them. Just couldn't justify the price in buying a set of lashes, but when these launched, really wanted to give them a go, and to cut to the chase, so happy I did. Wish I would have purchased more because they're amazing. Spoiler alert. So I have two shades. They retail for $19 a piece, just $1 shy of the Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner pencils, which I think is important because I'm about to, I'm going to compare them in this video. So 19 bucks individually for these guys. The two shades I have to talk about today are Icon. I recently posted an Instagram picture wearing this shade. It's kind of a lovely, deep, berry shade, and then Cheerleader, which I am wearing right now. Now these do have a matte finish. I am wearing a gloss over top because I wanted to show you how the wear is affected by products laid over top. The gloss I'm wearing, just for reference, is something new from L'Oreal. I just, just recently stumbled across this display. It's the Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss in the shade Dulce de Leche. And so it kind of, you can see here, it kind of gives it um, a brown hue, like a deeper bricky red hue, but it really is kind of a true blue red and then it also gives it some amazing glossy shimmer. I'm really just wearing it in the center of my lips, but I feel like it gives my lips like a boom kind of effect. But that's not, that's unrelated to this review. Back to these lip liners. So I am gonna be doing a full kind of uh, haul where if you are new to the channel, the way I like to do my hauls is I actually have tried the products for a while. I like to demo them out in the video and kind of give you mini reviews in addition to showing you what I hauled from a certain store. So. That is coming from all the stuff that I recently purchased from Sephora, but I wanted to make a separate video for these because these surprise me. These really surprise me as far as lip liners go. They're called lip contours, so you can use them to line and then feather it in and you know really create a full illusion on the lips. But personally, I love using my lip liners as a full line and fill under like kind of as a primer for whatever product goes underneath whether whether it's a lipstick or a gloss that way it helps that base color stay in place it keeps everything from feathering or at least an ideal lip liner will um it just kind of acts like a lip primer a colorful lip primer if you will these are so stinking smooth i was shocked at how smoothly they glide on the lips there is no tugging i think you'll be able to see in each and both of these demos there is no tugging whatsoever the pigment laid down with one stroke is incredible it really just takes one pass around the lips to get a super opaque line which is really critical when it comes to lip liners because i i personally find that if i have to go over a line more than once Odds are better, I am going to mess up, and then kind of like that meme where the eyeliner keeps getting bigger and you start with a really fine cat eye and then you even it out and all of a sudden you have panda eyes. For me, it's like my lips start within my normal lip line and then as I keep going out to make the border opaque, my lips just keep getting bigger and bigger and more overdrawn. And that's not a risk you have to run with these because they are so opaque at first swipe. You just, it goes straight on there. The border is nice and crisp. I really didn't find I needed to clean these up with a concealer or foundation or anything afterwards. It was what it was. I went in and filled it in and that's all I had to do. They're super comfortable. I watched her video when she recently, when she actually launched these or announced that these were launching in Sephora and I, she said once they're set they won't transfer and I thought I would be, I mean, I, I love, I love the idea of a lip liner that's that way, but I was kind of skeptical, you know, before you try any product I feel like it's healthy skepticism is good but these really do. I did a little transfer test, you can see here. I'm, I'm like, I put my finger up to my lips, take it away, it comes away clean. She said, you really have to wipe with these guys to get them to come off, and so I did. And you can see the pigment that transfers is not intense. It takes a good amount of wiping to get any sort of pigment transfer. And basically, as far as formula goes, that makes for a super long wear formula. I recently wore these applied it at 8 a.m. in the morning, and by no joke, 5 p.m. was coming home from work, and naturally it had worn away in the center of my lips, but seriously guys, going strong around my actual lip line area. So it did look kind of funky, I should have taken it to touch up and go in the center of my lips, but truly, it, it was like, it was a 12, well, less than 12, but it would have worn for 12 around the borders of my lips if I hadn't touched it up at all. Super, super long wearing formula and really comfortable on the lips. It's not one of those where because it dries down so matte, so 
solidly. It's gonna dry your lips out and make them uncomfortable. It's very comfortable to wear on the lips from the time you put it on to the time you take it off. I do need a makeup remover to remove it. I'm totally okay with that because it means it's a long wearing lip liner. Um, I think the only kind of notable attribute, which I think is super typical of pretty much any lip liner is that when you, depending on the product you put over top, like the consistency of the lipstick or the gloss like I have on, that will affect how it wears. Like because I have a gloss now over this, kind of affected the formula. It's no longer completely transfer proof. You are gonna see transfer on glasses and things like that. It makes for a slightly shorter wear time, but if you are looking for a great opaque matte comfy lips, lip color, I guess it's a lip liner, these are an amazing way to go. I wish I had purchased more because even though it's not a super wide range of colors, she hits the mark with each shade that needs to be like there, be there. There are like nudes, browns. I thought these were gonna be a little bit different than they are in real life. Like I thought this was gonna be, Icon was gonna be a truer, kind of blushy berry, like a lighter blushy berry. And then cheerleader would be the true deep blue red that it is. So I do wish I would have kind of diversified my selection, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to resist these for much longer. Oh, the other thing is, despite the fact that they're super creamy, I do wanna point out that uh, Icon, I have been wearing multiple days in a row, and I have applied it all over my lips three times at this point and still have not needed to sharpen it. So I know a lot of times with creamier formulas, it means you're using a lot of excess product. Not the case with these. I have gotten three times, I mean, really, I'm gonna sharpen this because I'm gonna want a clean edge and not because I need the extra product there. So I think that also says something about it. You're not gonna blow through this product because it's so creamy that it just like, you know, just goes on and on, keeps going on your lips. You can still use it sparingly and get a pretty high impact look with it. Now I mentioned the Urban Decay 24-7 lip liners in here earlier because they're still pretty fresh in my mind. Urban Decay sent me their 10, Wendy's 10 picks for Vice lipsticks and so I'm gonna have a separate review coming of these guys, the new formula, or at least 10 of them. But in there they included liners as well. So these were really fresh in my mind as kind of a, you know, prior to having tried the Huda Beauty, these were like top notch. These are the lip liners that go for it. These and Makeup Forever's are really good as well. But I have to say, after going through and swatching these, you know, for, for reviews and stuff like that, I was swatching them and I just, they're just as creamy, but you do have to layer them up to get the same sort of pigmentation. They're not quite as, when they dry down, they're not quite as solid feeling, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it feels like these are going to budge sooner than the Huda Beauty. What? Huda Beauty. Um, and they do. And so I did think it was kind of important to bring that comparison in here because these were kind of my gold standard and if that's the case for you like if you know and love this formula as well I just think to find something that works better for me personally and is a dollar cheaper is like huge so um, if that kind of hopefully that drives the point home just how much I really really like this formula I highly recommend you go check these out besides that I said this is gonna be a quick review not so much but what can I say I really like these and I wanted to make this as informative as possible so thank you guys so much for watching Watching. really hope you found this video useful besides that please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video bye guys